Hello? Hello? How, how are you? I'm fine. What a girl. Uh, what did you do, do today? Um, I'm good. Uh, that's great. All right. So let's start from where we left from yesterday. Let's start from let's start from where we left from yesterday. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we are still continuing with um with the pronunciation and also some meaning of the words, right? Yeah. Okay. So yesterday we did this part, right? So today we want to do this part. Right, we did this part again, the accept, believe, describe, and explain, right? And also, right, so today we want to say, right, so yesterday we talked about these pictures, right, said, right? Right, which ones belong to the polite behaviors, right? So, a, what is A? Can you read A? Jump the queue. Jump the queue. Very good. So it's jumping the queue. Boom. So you remember? Q, right? This is how the queue is. Right. Very good. All right. Let's go to the second one. Complain loudly. Complain loudly. Right. That is good. Ah. Right, and then the third one, C. Apologize when bump into. Right, apologize when bump into, right? Very good. Yeah. And the fourth one, D. D is in trapped some, somebody at work. Right, this one is called interrupt, interrupt. Right. Interrupt. Yes, interrupt someone. Interrupt someone. Right. So, what is to interrupt? Right. Interrupt someone is when someone is working and you say, "Hey, hey, 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 hey!" Right. Or oh, excuse me. Right. Or oh, excuse me. Right. To from what they are doing. Right. To focus on you. Interrupt somebody. And one. Very good. Right. And E. Make a complaint with patience. With patience. Patience. Make a complaint with patience. Patience. Very good. Patience is to, right? Don't, not to, not to rush things just slowly and say, okay, I understand. And this is what is happening. Can you do something right for me? Right? And then F. F. Say something naughty about others. Nasty. Nasty. Very good. Nasty about others. Right? So nasty is if you say something nasty what is saying something nasty do you know what it is nasty right all right let's say for example you are saying something about um let's, let's pick up a name right for example uh karen right and you say karen is ugly right that is saying something nasty about someone right oh karen is Bad, right? That is saying something nasty about some someone. All right. So we have all these ones two, four, six. So which ones belong to the polite behavior? Which ones belong to the polite behavior? Can you choose A or B or C? Which one is 
a polite behavior. Um. Uh, Which one mm -hmm. is a polite behavior? E. E. All right. Complain. Very good. Make a complaint with patience. It's E. We've got one. E. Another one. We've got another one. Which one is another uh, uh, polite behavior? Which one? Another one? Right. Uh, another one of a polite behavior that will be C, right? apologize when bump into right so if you bump into someone and you say oh i'm sorry i'm sorry it is a polite behavior right to say you are sorry then just to bump at somebody and just ignore and continue as nothing has happened so that is why also c is a polite behavior right Jumping the queue is never a polite behavior. Complaining loudly also is not a polite behavior, right? To interrupt somebody at work, right? Is never a polite behavior, right? All right. We are not just saying that if uh, somebody is at work, you don't have to ask for something. You have to ask for something or talk to them when it is necessary or if it is important right if it's of paramount importance so that is when we can actually ask them to have attention right oh, yes so, so right so let's continue right right read the blog Read the blog and complete the main ideas. Right. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Right. So, right. Let's look at something and say, right. These ones are also simple, right? Like, catch your letter, mm -hmm. right? All right. Cheers. See ya. How's it going? So, what do you think about these phrases? All right. What do you think? All right. Does is it a formal or a informal? Uh, B. Catch you later. All right. Catch you later. Is it a formal or informal? And C. See ya. Right. See ya. Right. Is it a formal or informal? And cheers. How's it going? Which one do you think is formal and which one do you think is informal? So after that, we will also have to look at this part, right? We we'll say, uh, what time is it? So what are we doing here? We've got, uh, could you please give me a pencil? So we've got uh, the one part, which is the one, two, three, four, which is the informal and the A, B, C, D, which is more likely Formal. So we have to match with, is it? We've got, uh, could you please give me a pencil? And then we have, I want a pencil. So, which is, all right, uh, three matches with A. Very good. Oh, 
What about number two? Uh, what about the next one? Anything? Right. Number one, what's the time? What's the time? Right. So what's the time? We can change it uh, to something more of a suitable formal. Say, could you please? Could you tell me what time is it? Right. Could you tell me what time is it? Uh, can you finish what is left? The second one, number two and number four. Isabel, number two and number four. Number two and number four. Where's the library? Yeah. Um, um, excuse me, I like to know where the library is. Uh, excuse me, I would like to know where the library is, right? Excuse yeah. me, I would like to know where the library is very good and the last one explain the answer i was wondering if you could explain the answer i was wondering right wondering wonder right wondering Wonder, yes. wondering right. if you could explain the answer right so that is that's it for these ones, which is okay. So, yeah, and also here we said this one, it's catch ya later and see ya and how is it going? Cheers, all right. So, do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? Do you have any questions? So, right, so we have these statements, right? All right, so let's see, what are we saying? Can we, can you read this one and two statements? And see, Uh, Isabel, can you read one and two statements, please? No. Isabel. No. Has your net gone down? Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. Hello. Isabel. Hello. Uh, can you read uh, this last few statements and then we can move on to our book. Read this Seeing one. the teachers returning the room. The students top when Ooh. the students saw the teacher in turning the room entering. They entering. entering the room. What? They stood up. Very good. They stood up. Right. It's so good. They stood up. Right. And let's go to the next one. Faced with difference, we must try to overcome them. When we are faced with difference, we must try. Difficulties. 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 We Difficulties. We must to try, must try to overcome them. And when we are faced with difficulties, uh, difficulties, we are we must try right to overcome them. Difficult as when it's hard. Difficult is when it is hard. Very good. Now let's go to the next one. He went out uh, shutting. shutting the door behind the door behind him. He went out shutting the door behind him. Alright. Yeah. That was good. Alright. So next one. Now, not knowing what to do, he went to his parents for help. Not knowing what to do, he went to his parents for help. Very good. Right. Given more exertion, the trees, actation, actation, the trees could have grown be better. Fade. Could have grown better. Grown better. Better. Okay. Fade with differences. We must try to overcome them. Faced with difficulties. 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 We must try to overcome them. Right, that is it. Um, now let's go to back to the the book, right? Which we usually do. Right. So, right. So those are the pronunciations and the words. 
And now so that we have those pronunciations, we can actually read the book and we can try by all means to have uh what do you call less mistakes on reading the book, right? All right. So yes. so let's go, right? So do you have any questions on that part? No. All right. So here's the book. And the last paragraph we last time we read about different cultures, right? All right. So now today let's read this one. All right, let's go. Right, let's read number three B, read next blog. Uh right, read next blog post and find the answers. But right. can you read here yeah, about me? About me. Isabel. Hello. Hello. Yes, let's go. About, About me. me. I'm Jack Brands. I'm Meek. I'm I'm Meek Brands and I taught English in the UK. And I teach English in the UK. My students come from all around the world and I love learning and I love learning. Okay, we'll find I love learning the uh, other continue. Um, I love learning about other languages and languages. Um, Languages and controls and cultures cultures through my students. Sure. I love learning about other. Sure. Right, that is good. All right. Now let's look at the this other part. We just got the British manners, right? The British manners. When they arrive the UK, many of my students are surprised by how, uh, by how polite, polite, how polite people are here. You always say thank you, please, and sorry. Students tell me in my century. People don't in say my they'll, country, country. In my country, people don't say those things as these, often. These I, things. These things as often. I read somewhere that British people say sorry, sorry, and arrive age on of, average, average, average of of ten times a day. All right, very good. All right, so right, what you have said, this one you have said, I read, right? But right, yeah. because the 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 story is on like on past tense, right? So instead of saying read, we have to say I read. I read. Yes, the past tense of read should be pronounced as read, right? I read. Okay, let's go. And other things that sometimes another 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 thing that sometimes 
surprises surprises surprises, surprises my stu my students is that informa in information informal informal in, 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 in formal, uh, situations such situation situation people don't always say hello and goodbye that's true so i teach my students other greeting other greeting there's other greetings are the greetings my mind here between friends like all right all right all right and all right and how house is growing and different ways of goodbye different ways of saying goodbye like catch you later and see ya i also teach them that cheers can mean thank you being polite be polite like be being polite to people you know well isn't hard but in for in for male but in formal informal city uh, situations such situations it needs a bit of practice practice, practice if you said the stranger asked, was if you asked if you asked a stranger a stranger stranger a stranger we what's what's the time or oh, where's the library i i it's mine should rude. it might sound it's mine sound rude it's better to ask and in indirect indirect question could you could you tell me what the time what the time is or oh, excuse me i like to know where the library is i also tell my students not not to say s things like i want to i want a pencil or explain the answer uh, in my class they learn how to request things politely politely so instead they say could you please give me a pencil oh i was wondering if you wondering. Would, wondering. wondering wondering if you could explain the answer he also talk about polite behavior for example in the uk it's considered right in the UK, it's considered 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 very rude to jump in queue in other words to push in front in front of people in supermarkets or at bus shop if you have a problem in the restaurant or cafe it's okay to complain as long as you do it politely and you should always uh, always uh, Apologize. Apologize. apologize 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 if you put into someone even mm. if it was their uh, fault fault very good if you bump into somebody bump right if you bump into somebody even if is their fault right if yes. it is their fault. Both. Very good. So here 
Well, here the the story, right? Oh, uh, just a blog about the teacher is telling us how uh, the culture, right, and the people in the UK, uh, how the manners are, right? Right. And so, in general, what do you think the people in UK is? The, are there manners? uh of rude manner or of a polite manner right is it of a rude are they rude or they are polite mm -hmm. are they rude or they are polite what do you think no are they rude or they are polite what means proud? Polite. Like. Right. So let's look at this. Remember, we say, remember, we did, uh, how do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this word? Like. Like. Very good. And so let's look at. Uh, this word again, right? Pol polite. Very good. So you see, yeah, uh, the same concept which I've been telling you, right? If we have L I, right? L and E. So you just go back to something that you know if you are finding a new word, right? Like um, mm -hmm. light, right? Light, okay? like, light, right? You see, so they have, so you just have to put the P O, which is po, and then plot. So that is good. All right, so do you have, uh, let's see what other thing that you did. All right, then this one is situation. Situations. Right. Then this one, when we put the L I at the end of polite, so it will become politely. Right. Lee. Right. Politely. If you ask something politely, right, which is here. And then the last one is bump. If you bump into somebody, bump into somebody. So it is almost like hitting somebody unknowingly, right? Not unintentionally, you are hitting somebody, right? You just, right, with your body, right, with your body, and you can actually say, uh, so, I'm sorry. So the fault, it means who is the one who has done has gone the wrong way and actually hit somebody with their body that is someone who is on the wrong on the wrong side right someone who's on the wrong side here that is where we have fault uh do you have any questions Any questions? Right. So if there are no questions, let's just have um this one, right? Then so we have already written the words to fill the gap, right? And then now let's check um let's go right now. Let's do three e. Let me say read next blog right post again and tick ideas that Nick mentioned right so we have read the blog right now uh, number one can you read number one mm -hmm. read number one
Let's do this number one. Learning info info mode. Learning informal expressions. Expression. That's expressions. Expression is more important than learning polite explanations. So what do you think? Right. Is it an idea uh, Nick mentioned there? So we can just read uh all the ideas and then tomorrow we can actually find which one is an idea that uh, nick has expressed up there for example learning informal expression is more important than learning polite expressions right number two okay let, can you read number two please read number two Please read number two. Fresh people only say sorry when they've done something wrong. British people only say sorry when they have done something wrong. Very good. What about number three? People Whoa. can say how's it going to greet their friends. Very good. And number four. In the UK, you should never say the strainer that what time is it? What time you, it is? You should never ask. This one is ask. ask. Very good. Ask. You should never In, ask. Very good. Number five. Indra, indirect. Indirect questions sound more polite than direct ones. Very good. And number six. Uh, for, for, uh, foreign, foreign, foreign students don't always have to use the same explore expression, expressions, expression, expressions as fresh, fresh. People. British, as British, British people. people. Good. Okay. That's good. So, and the last one, the, the last two. In the UK, it's important to wait for your turn in a queue. Very good. Number eight. Complaints don't have don't have to be polite. Complaints. Don't have complaints to. don't have to be polite. Very good. So, what is British? British. British is same as okay. So we've got British, right? Which is Britain, right? British goes to Britain, right? People. So Britain is a place right yes right that is a place right and then uh right and then uh let's look at uh it's the same as saying china right yeah and saying chinese right chinese c h i n S E S S E S E. Very good. Chinese, right? So it's yes. the same as saying China is a country, right? Chinese are people, right? British, yes. uh, uh, let's go. British, right? British, uh, they are the people, right? Yes. Right? And then Britain is where the place, right? Right? Is the place, yeah. right? Country, right? Yes. Very good. So that is good. The same with China, place, right? Yeah. And then Chinese people. People. Very good. So remember that. And then 
All right, so this is Chinese people. And then the last, this word, foreign. Foreign. What is foreign? I don't know. All right, so, for example, we take people from, we take the British, right? Uh, someone from yes. Britain, and then they come to China. They've become a foreign student, right? We take a student yes. from China, from Britain, and then they come to China. They become a foreign student. And if we take uh, a Chinese, right, a Chinese student to Britain, right, they become a foreign student in Britain, right? And then if the British come to China, they become a foreign student in China, right? Someone who is like, for example, okay, you know, in Chinese, you say mego, right? Mego, right? So those are foreigners, right? Mego, right? Foreigners, right? That is what we say. So if you are go, if you go to Britain, you become a foreigner. If you go to America, you become a foreigner, right? They will say yeah. a Chinese foreigner. So if they is in China, you say uh Megorin, which is a foreigner, right? American foreigner, right? So that is good. All right. So I will see you next time. Have a good night. Bye.